Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to render an image in D5 with a post-digital model effect using a Blender scene model. We'll be producing three renders with the tool, two interior and one exterior cafe scenes. We'll use also AI-powered D5 High, a text-to-image AI tool to get some inspiration for the scenes we'll create. Let's begin by downloading the D5. A key feature of D5 Render is the ability to set up your scene before the modeling process is complete, allowing you to update the models at any time. You can download the D5 from the link in the description box below, along with all the content used in this model. Don't forget to check the system requirements of the program. Now, we'll download D5 Sync for Blender and install it as an add-on in Blender. We'll export our Blender model using this add-on. Before exporting, we'll check out the D5 High for some inspiration for the renders. This browser-based text-to-image AI tool can generate images from models for design inspiration. It can also generate creative images from the original text input. First, let's get familiar with the tool. We'll start by generating an interior scene. We have chosen a concept scenario. In the concept section, you can select the keywords and further describe them. You can add or exclude specific words on the right side. You can choose the keywords for the image from the panel, then proceed to write in the text section. In the exclusion section, you can specify elements that you don't want to include in the image. Three outputs would be enough for us. We'll select the creative option, which will generate three visuals. And here they are. The results are impressive. These images will serve as a guide for designing the cafe. Moving on to next trial. Outline the features we desire to be included in our model. From the Laura model section, choose your preferred style. Then, add the image obtained from the model without any materials to the structure section. Three outputs would be enough for us. Select Accurate to ensure the model's suitability. Then click Generate to produce the output. Let's select our preferred image, enhance its quality, and save it. The results look quite good for inspiration. We can use them as a starting point for the architectural visualizations we'll prepare. We will create renders from the Blender scene which will include one exterior and two interior settings. We'll export the model with the D5 Sync add-on we've downloaded earlier. You can access them in the add-ons panel. It will then appear in the right panel. After defining the source file, we'll open the render file. The interface is straightforward, making it easy to adapt and operate it. You can start with adjusting the camera angle. Select two-point perspective by clicking on the camera icon in the upper right. After deciding on the angle, capture the scene and its features starting from the upper left. You can quickly navigate to the recorded angle using the left panel. Let's save this file on the computer. You can adjust settings from the panel in the upper right where all camera settings are located. Let's use the grid and walk feature. You can save the angle and settings from the left panel. Next, we'll experiment with the ambient light settings. The default section provides daylight. Additionally, you can customize what is referred to as high dynamic range image ready scene lights to suit your specific scene. We'll go ahead and test high dynamic range image on the computer. The first one didn't match the scene's concept, so we'll try a different scene and lighting. It appears that Partially sunny conditions work well for this scene.
You can modify all the sun attributes from this panel. You can include weather conditions from here as well. Now, moving on to adding materials, we'll select them from the Assets section located at the top left. And quickly adding materials such as soil, wall, and glass. All material settings and maps are located in the right panel. For instance, let's adjust the scale. You can also download and add materials from external sources. Now we'll reshoot the scene, adding a material that illuminates the lamps. We'll use the emission feature for that. We'll add plants into the scene from the asset section. First, we'll apply natural looking grass onto the soil using the brush. You can always use a racer tool to remove some of the parts. We'll add a plant and then create a path. From the right panel, you can modify all its attributes, such as number and scale. The scale of the gravel material appears to be too large, so we'll adjust that. You can select the material pressing the letter on Y on the keyboard. We'll further fill the scene by adding more plants. It already looks appealing, but this will improve the overall composition. Now, we're going to try out what we believe to be the most useful feature of D5 Render, called AI Atmosphere Match. In the Effects panel, load the image from the AI Atmosphere Match section. Then you'll be able to apply the effect from the reference to your scene using AI. By adjusting daylight to fit this effect, we'll get the result we're looking for. We'll select a background surface from the library to complete the scene. Before rendering the interior, we'll first navigate inside the cafe in the model file. From there, you can initiate synchronization. All the changes made in the model will then be reflected in the render file. This camera angle is working great for the interior, providing a view that overlooks the inner courtyard. Now we'll replicate this effect for the rest of the interior using AI. We'll complete the first interior visualization by fine-tuning the effects in daylight. Don't forget to save the scene where the camera and lighting are set up. For the second interior visualization, we'll start by setting the camera angle. 
Then we'll quickly implement the same techniques used in the previous one. And that's all. Let's take a look at the final images. Now, we'll proceed to render them. Simply select the scene you want to render. Click on the camera icon at the top right, select the desired output features, and press the render button. Repeat the same steps for all scenes, and that's all. These are the final images. If you're interested in trying D5 Render, you can find the download link in the description box below. We really enjoyed using D5 Render as it easily imports Blender models. What do you think? Would you like us to make another tutorial? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.